Hi guys, it's Lynn again. So we're going to do more one-sided limits right now with another piecewise function. It's just a little bit more involved. It has some trick. Okay, so again, on a quiz or a test, you're going to first of all look at the question for a few seconds and identify what kind of problem it is. You see the one-sided limits being asked about and then the piecewise function. So don't panic. It looks confusing. It looks scary. But all this means is on the one-sided, you're going to decide which line am I using? Okay, so for the limit as x approaches pi over 2 from the left, from the left means less than pi over 2, correct? So for this one, we're using the top. And then it's just a matter of plugging pi over 2 in for x. So this is actually this is going to be 6 times pi over 2 plus the sine of pi over 2. Now we got to go back and remember our trig, our unit circle, things like that. Now 6 pi over 2, not much you can do with that other than reduce. That's just going to be 3 pi over 2, correct? I'm sorry, just 3 pi, just 3 pi. Now the sine of pi over 2 you need to evaluate. Get out your unit circle, uh, refresh those things. The sine of pi over 2 is actually 1. So that's just going to be 1. So your answer for that one is 3 pi plus 1. Moving on, back to the one-sided limit idea. Approaching pi over 2 from the right, that means slightly greater than pi over 2. That's going to be this line right here. So we're talking middle. I'm using the middle one. So now I'm going to plug pi over 2, what I'm approaching, into the middle guy. So that's going to be cosine of pi over 2, unit circle, remember all that good stuff, uh, I believe that's 0. Okay, so we're just taking a number, plugging it in. Your job is just to determine which line you have to use. Then for the overall limit from both sides, do they match? Do they match from both sides? No, they don't. So this is does not exist. Okay? Now, this one is a three-parter, so you got to take an, an extra few steps here. Now we're going to approach 3 pi over 2 from the left. What does that mean? From the left means slightly less than 3 pi over 2. So what line is talking about that? X is less than 3 pi over 2. So that's going to be the middle. Middle again. So this is going to equal the cosine. Now we're pi, uh, plugging 3 pi over 2 in here. Cosine of 3 pi over 2, 0. Uh, as x approaches 3 pi over 2 from the right, that means slightly greater than 3 pi over 2. That's the bottom. Okay, we're finally to the, the bottom line. So we're going to say 2 sine of 3 pi over 2. 2 sine of 3 pi over 2. Now the sine of 3 pi over 2, unit circle, negative 1. So 2 times negative 1 will be negative 2 for that answer. And then overall limit from both sides doesn't exist. They do not match, so it does not exist. So again, I just want to reiterate these, first of all, looking at the problem, determining what kind of problem it is, so you know the simplest way to attack it. Don't let all the scary looking notation with the trig and all that stuff throw you off, okay? Stay on track and stay focused. One-sided limit, piecewise function, just figure out what line you're plugging into for each one. That's all you're doing. And then, yes, you are going to have to review that unit circle, so you're going to have to know your sines and cosines and all that good stuff. Unfortunately, I'm sorry, but, but you're going to have to know that stuff too. So hopefully that helps, and hopefully this simplifies it so you don't get so um, stressed out about it. So thanks. Hope that helps.